And welcome to episode 16 of the Modded Malcor. Uh, what? And uh, today I'm still working on the bees. Spent a good portion of yesterday and today trying to get the Imperial bees, which I finally have gotten. So I'll be able to make the final machine for in there. And I decided I need a way to store the DNA that I get from the bees. So that's why I'm just building a basic iron tank. Uh, not a still one. There we go. Like that. Ow. Okay. Didn't hurt, but still. Let's see here. There we go. I've ran all the piping. Um, the drainage will come out and go into the three machines there. Uh oh. Just realized something. I'm not sure if this will automatically drain into it, so give me a second. I need to drop down into here. There we go. And set that up. Okay. So now what will happen is, let's see here, do I have a large, I know I have a large surplus of these type of bees, so I'll take all those and toss them into here. I'll use redstone energy cell for right now to transfer power back from my main base to over here. And what should happen is we should start seeing <coughs> we should start seeing DNA as I jokingly call it DNA show up in the purifier and the synthesizer. But uh, why is that? Oh yeah, that would help. Also, I find that scanned bees gives more DNA, so take a large stack, scan them, and what would help is, uh, so uh, welcome back, um, yeah, now I need to get that flowing, flows into the tank, drains out as quickly as it flows in, and should start showing up into the purifier and the synthesizer. And the other machine once I get it made. But to make it, I'm going to need some serum files, which I needed this royal jelly for. here. Um, there we go. We'll make as many as I can right now. Six of them, which is a good start. Gonna need five of these, if I'm remembering the recipe correctly. Five this, that, and, oh yeah, two serum files, which will give me the inoculator. Uh, we place the inoculator down right there, and we should start seeing, oh, the inoculator does not need 
So the only two that need it are the purifier and the synthesizer. So let's see here, we'll cover this part up, and I guess we could cover this part of the wall back up. It's starting to fill full of DNA. Uh, I was gathering some in a portable tank, uh, the largest portable tank you can make. I'll whack, give that a whack, and it should be draining here. Alright, now that it's empty, let's see here, what else can we do? So now that the purifier is full, and the synthesizer is full, we need to start isolating some of the genomes that we're getting. I didn't bring enough power cables out yet. Let's add some power here. It's going to take a lot of power. Hopefully this will hold enough it's going to take a while for it to fill up and once it does once it fills up I'll be right back also I'm going to go grab the power cables needed for all of this so be back shortly. And welcome back. Okay, I have finally got that charged. Didn't take all that long. Now I'm going to pretty much be working on isolating uh, some of the genomes from the drone here. So let's see here what we get. I did run lead conductive pipes underneath here uh, to power this. It's just right now to to power until I can come up with some sort of uh, power system for this room. I have an idea for that, and if I'm lucky, I might have that next episode. Let's see here: effect cancellation serum. No humidity. No humidity tolerance serum. Both are not that great, but um, it's always useful to hold on to it. Ah, that is actually an excellent serum. Right there. That that is. Uh, if I stand right here, you see I get regeneration. So, that's what uh, that serum does. Let's see, it's lower productive serum. Still not that great. Let's see what else we can get from it. Normal lifespan, that's actually a good one. And uh, I'm going to keep working on getting a good number of these serums here. Uh, one of the serums I want from that particular bee is uh, fertility. It should be like a high fertility. Some of them have the four times, which is really useful for making stuff to drop into the gene pool see here yeah and getting repeats so I'm going to work on getting the serums I want and I'll be back shortly so I'm down here in the basement burning uh, repeated 
serum vials that I don't need, and I'm getting back empty serum vials. I uh, thought I'd just point that out to you guys, that way uh, if you get repeated serums, you don't have to deal with them again. It's actually a time saver, if you ask me. And I did figure out what I am going to do for power. And it's an interesting idea, so I'm going to gather up the parts that for it and start getting ready to set it all up here. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, both of those can be burnt. So, uh, I think I can burn the rest of these bees now. And I will be back after I get some, or I get the parts for that and start working on setting it up. Alright. Alright, and I'm back. I've got the initial start of this design ready. Uh, just figured I'd show you how I built this. Um, let's see here. I decided to make a multi farm, but not just an ordinary multi farm to get the power. Twelve, that should be enough. Let me see if I'm remembering this all correctly. No, wrong piece. Oh, copper. I forgot to grab copper. Huh. My bees are quite well producing. Uh, I did upgrade these pipes to the faster ones from thermal expansions uh, by adding glowstone to them through that method. Let's see here, copper. Uh, that will work. Should be more than enough, I think. And jump. Love how quiet it is without my cows mooing all the time. Alright. Change these to ingots. And I'm trying to remember how many of these I'm going to need here. I think it's a hundred. Forty-eight. I'm halfway there. Well, under halfway there, but... Close enough. Should be more than enough now. Ah, that's the one I'm building. Sixty four plus seventeen is not a hundred. I guess I didn't grab enough copper. Well, it's enough to get started here. Let's see here. Two, three, four, five. Uh, 
Uh, nope, don't need one there. One, two... Let's see here. That's the valve, and that will be the gearbox. Hmm. Oh, I also need a controller, so... So that means I'm gonna have to make a golden electron tube. So that will be the controller right there. All right. Went with the very large layout. Mostly because I want to be growing a specific item. And Is that that multi-block part that just hit me? I think so. Let's see here. One, two... Don't need it on that side, I guess. I'm going to make the rest of this multi-structure and then I will set up down here. I know it's very dark. I'll also light it up with some torches so you can see what I'm doing and I will be right back. Alright, and I'm about to put in the farm controller. Er, that's not where I wanted it. Um, farm controller there. I want the power on that side, so the gearbox over there, and the items coming in and out can go there, and give it a second. I'm not sure why this is not turning into a multi-structure like it should be. One, two, three, four blocks, five by four. Alright, I'm not sure what's going on here. Give me a moment to look and see what I might have done wrong. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I figured out what it was. I had forgotten to make sure that there was a brick right there. Alright, now let me reattach those parts here. I said I want the gearbox there, and that should reform it to a multi-structure. Yep, there's the multi-structure, and a the hatch right here. Gearbox hatch, and Oh, I do need a valve, don't I? Um, let me build that real quick. I do still have the part, so... It'd be a little bit easier going in and out like that. Ten gear, okay. Ten gear. Two pieces of glass. And that makes the valve. Okay. 
and we'll stick the valve I say right beside the hatch and yeah that should be good for the controller valve and controller alright come on reform there we go okay now I can input water export the items that I need out of here run power to it right there and how am I going to run power to this when that's what I'm going to be using this to create hey, hey no recording no, no I said I'm recording Pulse, some fluid ducts, and compression dynamos with that as, and a couple of tanks, let's see here, I got a couple, um, create area, uh, Created from thumb er uh, teeth ho oh. can't speak right. Some uh, T E tanks. Let's see here. And if I set them up one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, right there. Um not gonna have to move them one more in. Let's see. No, can't. Well, I could. Let's see here if I want. Hmm, I'm trying to remember here how I wanted to set these up down here. I mean, it is really a tight area, but let's see here. We have the power coming off of them. And it goes into the gearbox to power it. gonna have two fluids going into it one from all the way down there and one from right like right there actually I'm gonna open this up and set down one of these fluid ducts right here. I'll build the machine here in just a second and connect it. But that will go like this. Over one more. Two, three. And we can have this one come along the top here. Yeah. I'm going to place down some impulse item ducts coming out of here. Those will be going downstairs. Ooh, tight squeeze, tight squeeze. That's why I built that portal. Come on. move around when I need to. Uh, impulse. And we'll send this one down. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want the impulse on this side. I'll be jumping down here in just a second to grab that, so. And we'll come back to 
this side. Uh, we'll have to break that torch. Fluid duck here, 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 and here as well as here. All right, and the last bit of fluid ducks. Like I said, it's coming up from down there, which means they'll be going up underneath here. Uh, one of the things I like to do is make uh, very tight quarters make builds, which is why trying to avoid shifting into this form this episode, but hey, you gotta do what, what you gotta do. Two, three, three, three. And we gotta make sure that this does not connect to that. And don't want to waste extra pipes. Fluid duck. Fluid duck. Alright, yep. Here I'm gonna fall down here and show you what's down here. I'm sure if you've been paying attention to this season so far, you know what's down here. Yep. That's right, my fluid room. And I've got some ethanol setting here. So I'm going to be taking the ethanol from down here and pumping an item into here. The only thing I will have to do is keep this full. And I've been using plant balls to do that. So let's see here. I want to... Oh, it's already on my hotbar. Helps if I pay attention. Alright. We'll set a fluid duct. Go along there like so. And we'll give it a good whack. Oh. No, 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 not shift. Fluid duck. Alright, and that brings us out of that area. And this is the one that's coming up from down here. Good, it's on the right side as well. I like when stuff start lining up right. Yeah, fluid filters. Let's see here. And I will fly up here. Set these up, like so. And I'll be back after I get the the fluid duct and the item ducts hooked up and show you how this is running. Alright, I'm back up here. I've got the ethanol running into these compression dynamos, which should be enough power, all six of them, to power the farm, as well as the bee room. Um, if my math's right, 
four of those should go towards that farm and let's see here if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, I need to go grab me a piece of gold. Uh, I'll explain why while I'm grabbing that. Uh, let's see here. One of those. I still need one of these anyway, so... Might as well make that on my way. <clears throat> if my math serves me right, that should be enough water... Or enough power. Not enough water. Enough power to power that. And these have finally grown, so I will be harvesting those. Uh, I did get something interesting while mining with the quarry over in the other dimension. Some instone, so I'll be using that to grow them on. I find I heard that instone actually gives you the ability to get more seeds. So let's see here. I came in here for gold. I don't need that anymore, so just a little bit of gold. We'll make it in here. One, two, three, four. Or is it the other way around? Ah, uh, it's the other way around. Let's make one of those. Alright. Let's see here. What am I missing? Ah, a bucket. Do -do -do -do. Okay, the max of that. Glass, glass. Oh, I don't have uh, tin broke out as tin ingots. That could be the reason why. And we got us our first aqueous accumulator. Um, used to prefer this. Used to prefer this method to making water than those pumps. So. Let's see here. We'll set that there. Should be filling up the compression dynamos with water. Should also be filling this up with water. And so the, this is getting power. Ah. Let's get rid of that. Uh, farms require fertilizer to function. All right. Not a problem. Because we're going to be changing this to a manual farm. Let's grab that back up. With this circuit board. One an orchard instead of the other way. So let's see here. If I toss dirt into here, will it start putting out the dirt? Nope. So I'm going to set up this from the rest of the way, check on the time, and I will be right back. Alright, I just noticed how much time I've ate up. So uh, next time I come back, this will be up and running. I will finish showing you how it's set up. Should not be too long. And uh, until next time, later gators.